Afternoon. My name is Michael Garibaldi. I'm... Yes, it is. And the answer is no. Now, wait a second. You didn't hear what I had to say. Yes, I did. I heard your proposition. I heard what you thought I would probably say in response. And I heard the counter-arguments you plan to use. I know you're having some discomfort with those shoes and that lunch is not sitting well with you just now. Not big on privacy, are you? I did nothing. Wait a do minute. Do you know what a telepath has to do in order to avoid picking up stray thoughts? We have to kick down our natural abilities. Run rhymes and little songs through our heads, round and round. All that to keep from picking up what you're broadcasting loud enough to be heard halfway down the hall. You're one of those people who rehearses everything, Mr. Garibaldi. You never enter a situation until you've gone over it and over it a hundred times. Worked out what you will say, what the other person will say, how you'll respond. It's quite remarkable and extremely depressing. That little personality quirk must have cost you more than a few relationships. Mundanes want us to fill our heads with noise and babble so we won't hear what you're shouting at the top of your minds. I didn't need to scan you, Mr. Garibaldi. And even if I did, since you were here to ask us to do the same to others on your behalf, you do not exactly have the moral high ground to complain, now do you? You said you wanted to work to earn your keep? We did. We do. We will work. We will fix, sell, rent our services. We will do whatever we must to survive. But we will no longer take orders from mundanes or belong to organizations which take us in only when it is convenient, when they need us and when they can use us. That includes Psycor, and that includes you. Good day, Mr. Garibaldi. <laughs>